The Prime Minister of Nepal, Sher Bahadur Dioba, is under intense pressure to find common ground among the coalition partners on the Millennium Challenge Corporation deal. But he seems to be making little progress on that front. The Millennium Challenge Corporation deal offers around 500 million US dollars for the construction of transmission lines and road maintenance projects. It was signed between Nepal and the United States back in 2017, but is yet to be ratified by the Nepalese parliament. The US company has now given Nepal a deadline of the 28th of February to get the deed done. The delay stems mainly from two of its communist coalition partners, the CPN Maoist Center and CPN Unified Socialist, who do not support the compact as it stands. The American deal has become a politically divisive issue in the last four years, with sources saying that the U.S. is expected to exert more pressure if progress is not made in the coming days. Our correspondent in Nepal, Saloni Murarka, has sent us this report from Kathmandu. Take a look. While Prime Minister Deuba, who has been insisting that the MCC is in favour of Nepal, Prachindu, who is a coalition partner in the government, uh, has been consistently opposing the idea of uh, giving parliamentary ratification to the compact. Uh, the MCC agreement was signed in 2017 and still has made no progress. The position of the Maoist Centre on the compact has increased the risk of the collapse of the current coalition government. Uh, the uh, Nepal's domestic politics might undergo a significant shift as many, uh, many leaders have admitted that uh, the coalition could break over the American grant. Saloni Murarka for Vion, World is One in Kathmandu, Nepal. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.